All right, Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was doing nothing different, but I feel like every time I could hear my breath, it was like now intentional. <laughs> well, it's because when you have to think about it, then you know. I can't hear anything out of this ear. Your you, your ears are clogged. It's the only way. Unplug, replug. Unplug, replug, so your ears can hear again. I can hear again. out of the bowl. Why can't I feel like? No, my ear's not plugged. I'm just not getting any sound out of this side. Headphones broke. Matt, can you hear both ears? I can hear both. Out of both ears. Let me see something. Can, now, now, now it's, it's just one. Ear. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's still my left. just hear one ear. Go again. Now check, it's just check. one ear. Yeah, just my left. Just your left. Cool. Okay, cool. but when I do this, now it's now a it's both, both ears. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, that's it, better. It's like one of those things where Dalton's like, man, I'm the tallest person in the world. And then he meets someone taller than him. He's like, whoa, I'm not. Then he goes back to the people that are like smaller than him. He's like, oh, yeah, I am. We recording? Yeah. Oh, you are? Oh, Matt, you're so funny. Oh, my God. I, what bro, a great joke I, he just said, guys. I, I got a career in comedy. Hey, but. um, <laughs> thought you quit. <laughs> did I? Yeah, I did. I did. Healing I the world with comedy that's the, the worst describable I've power of your comedy why do you like that show so much i don't know i feel like i easily connect with it because that's what i felt like during quarantine hmm. it's going through a lot i was wondering because like literally i was in my room last night or a couple nights ago and i was Dalton, watching it last night you you were watching it today i was singing it today i was singing with it today. Oh, okay yeah. yeah and then all of a sudden oh i don't have my mouse and then all of a sudden, uh, no, it's in my bag, but I'll have to get up during the intro to get it. Um, I won't get up. No, nope, I'm just going to old fashioned. I'll get it. Old fashioned, this bad boy. Talking. It might be on my desk. I actually don't know where it is. You keep talking. Good luck. Um, dude, Dalton, we have some big news. Guys, th- today might be our new Christmas. It's a historic day a here historic, in the drum household. Nay, a historic evening. Yay. And yay. historic evening. Nay, yay. Yay, nay. yay to that nay to the to the past 11 months after 11 months of grunting hard work and just absolute torture and anger and frustration and, and a annoyance. lot and, and the most reading i've ever seen this one individual do we want to give a shouty, shouty touty to, to our father dad, to <laughs> our father <laughs> why do we use two different words there father dad Probably because I respect Maybe. him more. <laughs> I was going to say you're more formal, I guess. To the man of the hour that donated his sperm. For us. For us. The best swimmers in the league. His, his two diamonds. Two diamonds, man. My father, Matthew Drum Sr. And my father, Dad. For He finally got his, his classic truck back. And his truck's you, back, guys. If you don't know this story, what happened was he bought himself a, what year is it, 56? It is a... 56 Ford pickup. Yes. 56. Yeah, 56. That sounds like 56. Yeah, sounds right, right? 56 sounds yeah right. a 56 Ford pickup. It's a truck. Baby blue, nice flames, everything he's ever wanted. He got it, had it for a solid, I don't know, three weeks. Decided that he was going to open it up one day on a street and then blew something. And then it just led from one thing to another. It was just a giant mess. And after awesome. 11 long months, it. it is now in the garage where it belongs. So... <sighs> Shouty touty to our pops. Congratulations, pops. man. I'm glad that, you know, it's back home where thanks it belongs. For, thanks for the drive. And um, in honor of that vehicle. Jeez, why don't you roll that intro? Let's roll on to that intro. I'm Drum. I'm Drummer. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. Week 87? 88. 88. You guys, I knew it was wrong. It's double eights. It's infinity signs, but they're upright. All right. We got... 88, you guys. Hold on, hold on. 88. Week 88, you guys. (laughs) We got four times 11. What does that spell? 44 plus 44 again equals what, guys? 88. And, yes. as always, and as always, we're your hosts. I'm Drum. And I'm Drummer. This is a podcast about brotherhood and the three S's storytelling, the supernatural, and self improvement. Some We're so close. Sometimes we finish, finish each, each other's, other's sentences. Did you say spinach? And when, huh? <laughs> Did you say spinach? No, I said sandwiches. I thought I said spinach. Sentences. 
What's going on, you guys? Thanks for joining us again. Dalton, dude, give them an update on your week. It's a very special week for you this week. Guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so summer school is done. I survived. He survived. He did um, it. I did it. Ended with a bang. And was it harder than I expected? Oh, yes, it was. But That's it was it said. was so much fun. It was so much fun. It was, it was, it was, uh, it's been a great time. That is what she um, said. But I feel very excited to have... My, shut the fuck up. To <laughs> Come have, on, man. That was good. <laughs> no, it wasn't. To have, you know, four weeks off just for a little while before I get... I hear a major echo. Is it always like this? No. Why am I so sensitive to no that? No one hears it. Yeah, I just, don't hear the echo. Am, maybe it's just my headphones. Um, But yeah, I'm super excited to have like four weeks off. Um, This week in particular, um, kind of having a technology hiatus. No. Um, what is it called? It's called a monk week. Woo! I'm so pumped for this. Monk weeks are pretty fun. Um, this is my first time doing one. It's where you meditate, uh, three times a day, one in the morning, uh, one in the middle of the day and one at night. Uh, and it's just supposed to help you kind of Zen out. You know, you don't really get on your phone too much. You don't spend a lot of time with socially. You just kind of really kind of center yourself again. Um, so since yesterday, you know, morning I woke up, meditated for like 20, 30 minutes and then went about my day. Then me and Matthew did Wim Hof outside. <laughs> It's, all, it's just a breathing meditation, which is fucking amazing every I love time you do that. It's so fun. And then before my late, before my sleeping, I, I take I do it before I go to sleep just because it really lets me have a good night's rest. Um, I do I take a cold shower, and then I do another uh, meditation session while I go to sleep. But does it also mean that you're not supposed to be on any type of technology for the whole week? Yeah, like I, I'm limiting myself a lot on like what I've been on, and I'm not. I told I told a few of my friends I'm just not gonna answer. I'm literally not gonna answer you if you try and text me this week. So, uh, I'm not talking to anybody. You guys are the, you guys are pretty much the only people, except for the gym. But I have to work out, so that's 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 a must. So you're going into self seclusion, or you're just not talking to anybody? Just not talking to anybody, really. Okay. I think I think it it monk wing. I feel like comes with this like you're only supposed to drink banana juice and onion or something like that. Yeah. Like you to know what like I mean? A, but be like a monkey. <sighs> Uh, maybe, maybe that was, I just, that's from Avatar. Um, Ah. but I feel like it is what you make it like whatever you, you can, you know, change the fit your schedule. Like for Dalton, like the technology he's on is really just like for his coding. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's just having my me time, just really kind of getting myself back together and ready for the rest of the year. (laughs) But it's definitely very nice. I feel, I feel great. Honestly, the last yesterday I felt pretty good. It was kind of rough to get back into it. Um, but today was just a breeze. I've been living in the moment. I've been very much like involved in anything I've been doing and just kind of really enjoying uh, today, everything about today. Yeah. It's been yeah. a great day. Yeah. How about you, man? What are you doing this week? Dude, me and Dalton are doing Wim Hof at lunchtime, and it's great because we go outside when it's sunny, and we take our shirts off. Yeah. And then we sit next to each other. Yeah. And then we get attacked by flies while we do Wim Hof. But yeah. like halfway through, you get so focused on what you're doing, you forget that there's flies. Uh-huh. And then, uh, and then ye- yesterday when we were doing it, there were these uh, people climbing the trees because they were like trimming the branches and stuff. And branches were falling. And you know what? That old saying, like if a tree falls in a forest, would it make a sound? To be honest with you, I have no answers because I was right there and we're not in a forest and I did not hear anything. Mm. Pretty crazy it's stuff. It's a challenge. This. Because you were so Wim Hof? I was so Wim Hof. Dude. I, was like, I was Wim the Hopped out, dude. I was Wim the Hopped out. Yeah. All Let's about go. it. If you guys haven't tried it, look it up. If type you guys in, haven't tried, type in Iceman cool. on YouTube and go ahead and watch Fucking that. Amazing. They have tutorials God. and guided meditations. But don't you need stuff. ice for that? Were you outside so, dumping yourself in ice? No. So normally it's supposed you're supposed to do this breathing meditation and then you're supposed to go and sub, submerge yourself in cold water. So Dalton and I do cold showers afterwards, as opposed to you know like an ice bath or something like that. Yeah, and it's super. It's just you feel so fucking rejuvenated. I mm-hmm. can't explain it. Every well, time it surprises all me. All your cells are oxygenated. Is really what it is. Like you're taking in so much oxygen compared to what you normally would. Yeah. That all your cells. Are Does just it ever like bother your nose? The first session of the Wim Hof. Wim Hof? No, not my nose. My face gets super tingly. And then, like, you kind of learn how to, like, control where your energy goes. So, like, my hands oh, get super yeah. tingly, so do my yeah. feet. It just was, draws, draws your attention to different parts yeah, of your body. Yeah, you body. feel your body more. So, like, what I told I was telling Matt today was the day when I was doing Wim Hof, um, my, my hands would start to shake and would start to, like, tremble. And I had, a, I had a, like, I was wondering why. And so I just started mentally visual, visualizing myself moving my energy around my body in places that I feel like need it more. So I took the energy out of my hands and moved it. 
and my hands instantly stopped shaking. And I was like, oh, okay, that's probably why. It's pretty sick. And I had a lot right here. I don't know what it was, but in this, just like in this wrist. But I think it's from the jerk, the clean jerk I did today. My wrist bent in more than expected, and it's super sore. So yeah. I think I might have messed that up a little probably bit. Probably ice it. Yeah, I see. Uh, but yeah, my week's been great. Uh, work is good. Um, meditation's good. Monique's great. We're going to Vegas this weekend, which is pretty fucking sick. Pretty pumped for that. And go visit our friends, uh, Peter and Steven. They just bought a house, so we're going to go hang out with them, That's see the vibe. new home. Yeah. Probably go get very drunk in uh, Vegas somewhere. I'm going to get a – I'm so excited. Every time I go to Vegas, it's the most touristy thing, and I do not care whatsoever – I always get a Fat Tuesday fat with an Tuesday. extra shot. So pumped. Even I'm even on a Wednesday. So they bought a house. I'm going to get a Fat Tuesday. We're just going to hang out and That's have awesome. a lot of fun. I'll find the end of that, and then I'll go into – you guys have clearly had experience setting up a house. Yep. But it sounds like you had your first experience setting up a classroom. Shouty Towdy. Towdy. It's a car, car bar, bar 69. 69. 69. Yes. So our friend is a teacher, and she reached out to Dalton and was like, hey, will you help me set up my classroom for my kids? And then I was like, <laughs> I'm totally coming along because that sounds fun, and I haven't gotten to hang out with you for a while. Yeah, it was a great time. Yeah, it was fun, dude. It was, And I'm finally the right size for those desks. <laughs> Matthew was sitting in them like, oh, my god, Dude, gosh. they were so comfortable. What grade are they for? Uh, They're sixth grade, seventh grade. Seventh grade. I think. Seventh grade, yeah. It was like the perfect size. And then we got the rundown on all the students, and then uh, yeah. we had to put up – so. Fun fact, all that like colorful stuff that was on your elementary school walls, turns out the teachers have to put that up. I never knew this. Yeah, they have to set everything up. Yeah. Like they, they decorate the classroom the way they want it. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. And then, so for this one. What did you think it was? I just thought that's how the room was I made. I thought they just did it like that. Like the teacher showed up. And it was already like that and they just had to make do with what they had. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I didn't know that shit comes down. But it makes sense because all the boring teachers had nothing on their walls. Yeah, uh, all the boring teachers would like dicks who? Too. Oh, no shouty one? touties needed. Um, no, these are wispy twispies. No wispy twispies needed. You don't want to take down some old elementary school teachers. Nah, I liked all my elementary all my elementary school teachers. The teacher was an asshole. Fuck. Anyway, but yeah, so then uh, we were hanging out there. We got there. I don't know. Moffat. Moffat had a boring classroom. Yeah, but he's too smart to be fun. Yeah, he was way too smart to be fun. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's single-handedly protecting this earth God, right now. God, he scared the shit out of me. He was definitely an alien. But, you know, we had to put up all these borders, and I was annoyed because, like, I got, like, done, right? With, like, this, I had half the room. Dalton had, like, a little corner. I had half the entire room. And when I got done, it turns out I did the whole thing backwards, and uh, everything was upside down. So I had to go through and redo it again. Okay. So, so I just basically did twice the work Dalton did. <laughs> <laughs> he did a lot, but you know what? Quality over quantity really yeah, showed out. This everything time. was definitely slanted, and Carly didn't want to tell me like, "Yeah, man, you should probably make." She this probably shit. was she, fixing it the whole time. All, we left. She's all, <laughs> she's like, oh, "That's you know okay, that's okay," because I have to put this border underneath it, so I'll correct it. And I'm like, "Okay, cool." And then as I'm doing, I'm like, "Oh wait, so this is wrong." <laughs> Why was it slanted? Because you couldn't, you could only reach half of the height of the board. No, 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 no. I could reach the whole thing. I'm just very bad at arts and crafts. Ah, so yeah, yeah. Sales. <laughs> <laughs> I could sell this to you. I could. I probably could, you could, probably sell, could sell that slanted board because yeah. it has like a weird energy to it. How would you sell a slanted board and say that it's the right way to do a it? Slanted board. Do you need a slanted board? <laughs> Did you know that every human's head is slightly crooked? Well, this caters to that. Probably do something like that. Whoa. I like that. Yeah, and then throw out some fake statistics because all salesmen are totally shady. Wow. Including you? No. Actually. Oh. Did let's change you subjects know. really fast, did shall you we? Know, hmm? Did you know that in the mm-hmm. list of professions that are most trusted, salesmen is, un- is at the bottom of the list right next to Congress and – there's another one. And at the top of the list is nurses and doctors and physicians and stuff like that, right? That makes yeah. sense. When I found that out, I was so mad. I was like, there are so many like salespeople out there that are just lying to everybody. So I vowed to not do that. I, I honestly don't. Like with my clients, I don't lie to them ever. Like uh, even if it's a, like I've had to have a lot of difficult conversations recently. And I tell them, I told you from the beginning, I will never lie to you. And I will not. This is what's going on. And – it's never fun, but, and I tell everybody too, like, 
those those difficult conversations, those yeah. are the conversations that need to be had. Of course. You know what I mean? That, that's moving your relationship forward as opposed to, you know, it's always easy when it's fun. You yeah. Know? Like, it's it's fun when it's easy. Yeah. Nurses, medical doctors, and pharmacists. The top three? Are the top three. Yeah. And what's the bottom three? Members of Congress, car salespeople, and business executives. Yep. And then lawyers. Yeah. Because everybody thinks they're snakes. And then right in the middle is clergy and building contractors. Yeah, 50-50. It's a shot, you know what I mean? We had a guy here that fixed our sliding glass door the other day. I, I wish I knew his name. I'd give him a shouty toddy. Oh, man, that guy was great. He was cool. Yeah. He didn't want to talk. He just walked in. He's like, what's up, man? Where's it at? Pointed. All right, man, I'll have to cut this here and here. Sound good? I'm all. Will it slide? Yeah. Cool. That's do what it. we wanted to do, man. Then he did it. And it was great. And then my dad comes home, and I'm like, hey, he knew exactly what it was. And my dad's like, yeah, that's because I told him on the phone. I'm like, then why didn't you fix it? It's easier to pay someone. All right. And I was like, what did you say? He's like, yeah, the slider's broken. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I could have fucking said that. I was like, this homeboy is fucking fixing it, cutting things properly, like doing his job well, you know? I'm just giving him the credit he deserves. He worked hard. Where do, you put, where do you put Jeff Bezos on your least to most trusted – people What's, what year I Jeffy Bezos? List. what year like now here's the thing i don't think he's lied about oh, anything he's definitely like a bad guy now but do you trust him i don't think he's ever lied to me but do you trust him do i tr- i don't tr- really trust that many people so do you trust him so, I, so I i don't trust jeffrey bezos because of the bo burnham special <laughs> that was a great song that they did for for bezos man jeffrey bezos it's a great song it's great but doesn't necessarily make me trust him. Doesn't have to. He's rich. He doesn't fucking care about you. How much would you have paid if if you could have gotten a ticket on the ship that he took to orbit the other day? I think maybe today. I think it was, I, I saw it today, but I'm, 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 I'm Is it where that, that old guy with white hair was going on it? That was 10 days ago. He already did it. That's yesterday's news. Come on. Get up with the dog. Wait. So who was who was on this this spaceship, Jeffrey. Jeff Bezos, and, and and one other person who oh Jeff like Jeff himself went into orbit. Yep, hey, at least he put his money where his mouth is. I haven't seen Elon on a fucking ship or a spaceship. You know what I mean? He's too busy making the next one. Elon's already in space. Mitchell's probably thing. so mad. He's like he's astral projecting himself no, into no, no, the no. universe. No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. There's a big. I'm sure there's a bigger reason why Mitch is which is Mitch is pissed off. So Jeff, uh, that we'll plane know. had him. And one other seat, and they auctioned it off. How much did it go for? And it went for $28 million. <laughs> Somebody paid $28 million to be on the same plane or same ship as Jeff Bezos when it went into space. Who it was, like the, was it? <clears throat> uh, it? We don't know. It was anonymous. Oh, really? Yeah. What we do know is that a week before the launch, they dropped out because of scheduling conflicts. Nice. So I wonder how I just can't make it to the ship. Today. I wonder how big <laughs> that conflict had to be for him to be like, oh, I have to go to outer space on that day. It's a single day thing too. It's oh. not like he's gone for more than a day. I'm gonna be gone. I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna be in town. Wait, day. so did they land? Like, is are they good? Yeah, they're back already. It was just Bezos by himself then. I think. Let me check it. Uh, let me check before I. No, no, no. There was an 18 year old gap year student that got the ticket instead. But how did he get this ticket? That I don't know. But yeah, 18 year old kid who's just like, eh, I don't want to go to college yet. I'm going to take a year off. Dude, there's... they gave the dude was like, I can't go with my twenty eight million dollars. Uh, how does he have just so give money? my ticket to someone? And they gave it to an 18 year old. Oh, wow. I hope like you literally have Jeff Bezos undivided attention. <laughs> You are literally in a rocket ship. You can literally get Amazon Prime for free. And you're in outer space. Like, granted, you'd probably be in awe of, like, everything. But, like, I hope you just got some good life advice. I would definitely talk about some scri- subscription ideas that I have. Do you want to talk about it right now? No, no. This is just a me and Bezos thing. Oh, uh, understood, understood. Hey, I'll, uh, I'll donate $28 million, Uh-huh. And then... Uh, I'll keep it all. And then, and then I'll just have a scheduling conflict. So, do you think that guy still had to pay? The first guy? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure he had to pay. I really want to know what he did. That's on It says man. he just, the 18-year-old was the son of a Dutch, just some other the Dutch. Fucking Dutch, man. Another, another Dutch bidder. The Dutch get themselves into and, But they did not, he did not bid $28 million. They said it was 
uh, considerably less than the winning bid. Nice. It's probably 20 bucks. Best 20 bucks you ever spent. <laughs> I got 20 in my pocket. And when they asked how he felt, he said, this is so unbelievably cool. That's amazing. What a statement. You go to outer space and that's the with fucking Jeff sentence Bezos. you Dude, what come would, back what, with. What would you say? What would you say? You know me. I wouldn't shut up about it for years. I would. That would single-handedly be the only thing that I talk about. Oh, my God. So that ship was the first – was the ship – that held the oldest person to go into space and the youngest person to that's go into cool. space. That's cool. Do you think that's a Guinness World Record? Like 18 they got... years old and 82 years old. Jeffrey Jeff Bezos, Bezos is 82? No, 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 no. Someone else on the ship was You 82. said it was just them two. You're There's adding four. people onto this. There's four seats. There's four now? There's four seats. How many did the other two people fucking Were pay? those the actual astronauts working at yeah, They're the ones running. They're like, shut up. <laughs> Jeffrey's like, Jeff Bezos is like, Cheers. Jeffrey Bezos is singing a song. Jeffrey Bezos. What if Bo Burner went on there with him? Dude, oh my God. He deserves it. He deserves it. After being locked up in a, inside all day. Everyone was locked up inside all day. <laughs> you know what? But he really showed it. And that's the beauty of that show. Inside. Watch it now on Netflix. Uh, <laughs> Bezos' brother was the other one. Oh, I didn't hear any of that. Sorry. And oh, Wally, Wally Funk who was one of 13 female pilots who went through the same tests in the early 60s. Nice. But never made it into space because only men were allowed. That's oh, fuck. Dumb. Well, cool. I'm well, glad she got to her. live out her dream. So now fuck she's yeah. the one that's 82 years old. Shouty Tati to the oldest woman in, on, in space from Earth. And then she could look down and be like, look who's in space now, bitches. Fuck you, misogynistic rules. Pound that shit. Pound that shit. Boom, boom. Dude, you guys, something that happens once every four years is coming up pretty soon. Five years. Five years. Five six years. years. Uh, no, I guess five years. because of, of COVID now. So does that mean the next one's in three years? I hope so. I hope they keep like that same like train. You know what I mean? Like same like time slots. Well, I don't know if it's going to be happening anymore with all the Delta stuff going out. They'll figure it out. The Olympics, Can you guys. Can not get there? Huh? Can people not get there? No, I mean, Are they're the planes, they're going. Are I, the planes not working? When's the Olympics? The entire, it's in this weekend? Next well, weekend? they can use more than just Delta Airlines, right? No, he's oh talking about the Delta God, variant. God, David, shut up. So the Olympics is coming up. What's your, fav- what's your favorite sport to watch in the Olympics? Um, I like watching snowboarding. That's a, not, That's not one. this one. That's Winter Olympics. It's Winter Olympics, but I appreciate that. Then I that. don't like any of this. Honestly, I think I just watch. Water polo? I watch the swimming more than I watch like, yeah. anything else. Yeah, me too. I like watching water polo. You would actually sit down and watch it? Yeah, yeah. I would, I would watch it with uh, Papa. Really? Uh-huh. That's cool. Uh-huh. What else do they have? They have the track and field. Track and field, gymnastics. gymnastics I think, big th- one. at least in our family, that's the gymnastics biggest one. Huge, it's yeah. always on. My grandma has a little TV in her kitchen, and every time the Olympics is on, this is probably my most vivid childhood memory, is I walk in, there is one Olympic sport on the main TV in the living room. You walk to the back, and then there's some gymnastics. It's always... One of the TVs is playing gymnastics as constantly as possible. As, uh, gymnastics is big with all the uh, women in our family. Yes, we have um, 13. How many girl cousins do we a have? A shit ton of girl cousins. And they all did gymnastics. And so we would all play outside and they would all fight over who was going to be. What's her name? Sean Johnson. I don't know. And one of those girls. And then uh, you would hear my aunt yell at my cousin Aubrey because she got a full ride with gymnastics. She was amazing. She'd be like, all right, no flipping. And then Aubrey would be doing something freaking insane in the front yard <laughs> that we were just like exposed to yeah. normally. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, we'd be like, Aubrey, stop doing backflips like crazy. <laughs> she would go down the whole whole fucking yard. Yeah. Doing backflips. Um, no. After she just made that TikTok that was like... Oh, with the handstands? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, she's she's insane. Um, but, Dalt, did you see the report that uh, of the beds that I they have at the Olympics? Them, I watched them make it. You watched them make it? Uh-huh. There's they a have tic- a video of there's them There's a TikTok of them it? putting it together. It's it looks insane. I mean, the, the cardboard is actually pretty like hard. Like it's like it's like wood. Uh huh. It's just, I think it's a way to save money more than to like help them stop fucking. Yeah, we didn't get to that part yet. So it's right there. So the reason they made these things is because they don't to help them stop banging. Because that's apparently not they the reason why they made much. it. Well, no, the athlete village, dude. It. I've, oh, I know. I've heard stories of like crazy stuff happening. Yeah, good for them making some really athletic babies. Yeah, they're all these. I'm about young it. Young like athletes that are in their prime and they're all adrenaline up and they're all fucking winners and they're all winners. They've only been focusing on training for the last like lifetime. Yeah. Get your wiggles out. Mm-hmm. Dude, you think that one guy from Nigeria, Ethiopia, remember that one guy that was a swimmer? Usain Bolt. 
And he was the son of the, no, swimming, the, the swimming coordinator from that country. And that's how he made it in the Olympics. <gasps> oh, oh, yes. yes. You think that guy was fucking? I hope so. Dude, he better be. I don't know why I'm here, probably, but I'm here to have a good time. <laughs> probably you got nothing to lose, man. Why not? <laughs> You're an Olympian, dude. What did he swim? I, was what, it the back our, show? I think the 100 meter freestyle. Yeah, and then it was like it was like our average time in high school. It was like 106. Yeah, 106. <laughs> it was 100 meters though, not 100 yards. That's wild. Good for him, man. <laughs> it was t- that I'm not saying he didn't like he w- wouldn't beat us in a race, but I'm just saying like the standard of the Olympics for him to go is pretty insane. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, you know what Olympic sport I really do enjoy watching. But I've never actually watched it during the Olympics. I only see the highlights. Is there fishing in the Olympics? No. Oh. Is ping pong. Oh, they have ping oh, pong. They dude. have so many crazy things. Yeah. Dude, it's ping so it's so insane. It's this, the amount of spin they can get on such a tiny little ball. Yeah. I always wonder why why I'd much rather watch ping pong than watch tennis. Something about tennis ping- is really fun too though, I can't but watch I don't it. think it's an Olympic sport. No, I don't think so. I watch I watch ping pong pretty often actually more than I th- it pops up on my Instagram yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always watching it ping pong yeah Why? at least I see a video at least once once or twice a week because I saw one video one time and then I liked it because I really enjoy it and I just then, like how they go back and, and forth just all over the place and then when they're going it, fast yeah and then they do like a weird spin and the ball goes straight down and then it looks like it's gonna go this way and then it like flies that way if anybody who was uh listening it I pointed my hands to the left and the point of my hands are going down to the right. And that's how they spin the, the ping pong balls. It's pretty crazy. But um, I love that shit. Did you know that Olympians can only drink in the room by themselves? Why? Because they're trying to stop partying. No oh, fun. They're really trying to crack down on that, huh? I didn't think that it was going to be that big of a problem. Oh, is that only this year or is that like a it's, common rule? I think it's just this year. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I can maybe, understand. Is it because of the COVID reasons, not because they fuck stuff. too much? No, that is definitely for cost saving measures. Okay, okay. It's a myth that they're doing it to uh It definitely happens. Because there's like videos of like the people are like like vlogging themselves as they go there and there's a dude who's like straight up like jumping as hard as he can up and down on the bed and it's just it's just hanging out, it's just chilling. Oh yeah. Not breaking it at all. Wow. Like, re- like you said, they're really strong construction. That's cool. They're wow. designed perfectly. That's pretty cool they made that then. I wonder if it's like comfortable or not. But if you could if if you could add any sport into the Olympics, even if we, it already exists and we just don't know that they exist, what sport would you add that you'd want to see? And then would you want to see get judged on like a professional Olympic oh, level? Oh, easy. The NFL. The NFL? Football. America versus whatever other football team, but like American football. You know, I would live to see that shit. Oh my god! Can you imagine all our legends, just all on the same team? That would be pretty cool. Oh my god! How come the NFL doesn't have a All Star game? They have it, the they have the Pro Bowl. Yeah, the Pro Bowl. Uh, is that what it is? Yeah, but there's since it's the off season, and all of these players are still under contract with their teams, they make the Pro Bowl kind of a joke. Like it's there, you can't do a lot of things. So there's a lot of things like. You can't tackle certain ways. There's like all these rules that don't really make it that competitive of a game. It's not fun to watch at all. Just because if they get hurt, it's a liability on the team's fault. Mm-hmm. So they still get all the treatment. And then also too, like you just don't want people to get hurt. So they're exposing themselves. You'll see people that won't go just due to, you know, they're unnecessarily increasing their exposure and risk to injury. So they're like, why would I do that? And but it's the, not it's not gonna mean anything. They normally they can still say they've been in the Pro Bowl. Yeah, they just they denied were offered. it. Yeah. I know it's like a two time Pro Bowler is like a big thing. Yeah. You know. But what is pretty cool is they have all these mini games where they'll get oh, all yeah. the quarterbacks together and they'll have them like throw the ball into like these buckets and have like all these like cool little challenges. And then they'll have uh They'll have like games of dodgeball and stuff like that. So it's oh it, my god, I'm so excited for football season. Yeah, I mean, it's coming up, dude. So Dalton does football, Matt. Um, I don't know. I feel like I would really enjoy like lawn bowling, or what the fuck is that? You never seen lawn bowling? No. We'll talk about a good time. Uh, or spike ball. I feel like spike Ooh, ball spike would ball. be ball. fucking insane. Spike ball would get so insane Hell yes. if it was on an Olympic level. Mm-hmm. Oh I'd, be God, be so cool. I'd be about it. That'd be so cool. I'd be about it. Spike will be dope. Have you guys ever heard of cross net? No. What is it? It is 
a mixture between foursquare and volleyball. So you literally have, think of a, a volleyball net, but it's a cross instead of, you know, just one straight line. And it's like, I think you can play a single player or two people per like side, but you play it with four square rules. It looks so fun. What are the four square rules again? Uh, is it you can only hit it? No, it wouldn't be only diagonal. Uh, I actually don't know. You, I know you can't let it bounce in your square twice. I have no idea. I have no idea how that game works. What What if they brought in like handball in the Olympics, but not like the the one handball where you're actually like, uh-huh. like I mean butt ball. If that's or, what, if, or elimination, like the one you played in elementary school, Wait, yeah, the one, is, that, that is a sport, isn't it? Yes, but yeah, it, no, it's no, no, not no, no, what I'm like, like with the jelly year. ball. Oh my god! Oh I, that! Oh that one! I thought you meant with the tennis ball, where it was like, oh no, no, no! You throw it at the wall, and no. if someone catches it, you're out. Or if someone, dude, think about how. Okay, so you know how last week we made the comment where like you're all, how much, how often do you guys fight? And I was like, well, see, the problem is that our strength got so much higher and our pain tolerance got so much lower. Yeah. It's just not worth it anymore. I feel the same way about playing. Like I want to play butt ball, but the amount of like strength that we have to throw the ball you, now. You want to play handball though? Let me finish. The amount of strength that we have to throw the ball at one another is so much greater. And my pain tolerance is so much lower. I'm just not down for it. Yeah. Like, you know, we don't get bruises. Like the punishment is just not worth the reward. But I'm down to play again if you guys are down. I'm down to play. We just need a wall, a wall and a tennis ball. Go to a racquetball court. Yeah. We should play racquetball. We should play racquetball. We haven't done that in a long time. Yeah. I have three rackets. Don can go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, last time play? last time you went, you were not in shape and you did not enjoy it. Last time I was... Oh, dude, I remember that. I almost threw up. You remember that? Yeah. It was like like 10 minutes in. You're like, this is hot. You yeah, I was not doing well. Yeah. You guys did great. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think... So you should... said spike ball. Spike ball. Yes, that's my answer. Dang. All right. Well, think of your own at home while we take a break. Hell yeah. Well, we didn't know it was spermicidal. All right. All right. Start. We're back. We're back. Welcome Hi, back, ladies and gentlemen. Guys. How are you doing? Man, that was a great break, huh, guys? Dude, it was. Uh, I like the breaks when they go kind of long just because it's good conversation. It's always but good conversation. But also, I don't like them because that means I'm not going to bed anytime soon. So You don't know that. What time is it right now? Great question. 9.30. 9.30. Oh, it's great. This I'm normally I'm normally in bed but for like 30 minutes by now. No, you're not. You're in bed by 10. True. Yeah, 10 o'clock. We're all in bed by 10. Usually. Um, if you guys, okay, so here's a question I was posed over the weekend. If you had to pick one spot, like one place to get your sustenance from, that was like the only what? What is <laughs> nothing? Nothing. Like you going? This is where you got your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner. Or like, if you ever wanted food, this was the only place you could go. But it was always free. Where would you go? Like a restaurant or like a country? Uh, food. That means nothing. Like, am I fishing for my food? Like a restaurant. Okay. Okay. Or a fast food place or any of that. Denny's. Denny's? Yeah. Wide, or wide menu. Mm-hmm. Like so many things. A little bit of everything. It's solid. Like it's not great. But it's not terrible. It's. I mean, if you can willingly have anything, you would choose. What kind of low class fucking bullshit is that? Denny's. What the fuck? Denny's. What are you gonna get? I can have cheese. I can only have fucking water. <laughs> I've never once ordered that, guys. Actually, yes, you've ordered you order water? water every time you go. But somewhere. not like without, like not. I mean, like well, I'm, just, have I'm, just, have water. I'm just thinking of something that has like a wide menu. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to eat the same thing. Like I immediately thought of Jersey Mike's. Because I love Jersey Mike's, but like then you only have sandwiches. Yeah, exactly. That's so you, much bread. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot of bread intake. Um, I took I, mine back. I'm gonna think on it. I would do. Uh, uh, where's that place that we went to in San Diego? Butcher's Cut. Butcher's Cut. I would go there every day, gladly. Steak and eggs. But then you steak. have to live in San in San Diego. Oh no! And you can never travel. <laughs> that's fine. I'll be perfectly fine in San Diego. Then, if that's the case, then I do McDonald's. Uh huh. Because I can go wherever I want. I'll stick it to mine. I like breakfast, it. lunch, dinner. And David's yeah. would be Wendy's. Not Wendy's. Who would it be? Jack in the Box. I was looking at like say McDonald's yeah. or Denny's, some place that you know is going to be McDenny's is good, but then you lose it o- overseas. Yeah. McDonald's is all over the all over the globe. All over the globe. I could just pack a lot of steaks. It's fine. So you're telling me you would like plan a trip and then go. Have them pre-prep the steaks. Uh-huh. 
and send them over go on your trip yeah i'll have them send them over and like freeze packages so i can just microwave my yeah my if, if, tr- if traveling is a big concern of mine then mcdonald's for but sure if it's not if it's not i just explained how it would work i solved the issue yeah, but then you're spending money on shipping steak across the freaking world. Well, bro, you're getting free steak. What the fuck? It makes sense. No. It makes sense. It's all free. What's the cost to you? I Have think you ever tried like, to ship something overseas, Matt, Dalton? Matt, you, look. Think about how much money you're saving every year on not buying steak. You're eating ribeye every night. And this ribeye was like, what, 60, 70 bucks? You'd get so many meat sweats. Bro. You'd but be sweating the hell's a day. meat sweat? The meat sweats? Well, I order chicken sometimes. Oh, okay. What's a meat sweat? You don't know the meat sweats? No. You, you it's get, like what you get from when you eat like nothing but Korean meat barbecue. too much. Yeah, Korean, Korean barbecue, barbecue, you, you get, get meat, meat sweats. sweats. I've never gotten like, meat sweats. Like you get sweaty because you're just... So much meat and sodium and shit's in your body. Yeah, salt and stuff. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you guys are lying to me. Nope. This is not a thing. You want me to look it up? Yeah. It's time for... Dictionary, Dictionary with Dave. Dave. Id. Id. D Rod. Meat sweat. Meat sweat. D Rod likes to beat sweat. I, please do not read the Urban Dictionary for this one. <laughs> I'm scared to know what that is. <laughs> it's not like a. It's not like a, a sex thing. Oh, okay. okay. It's the excessive buildup of perspiration that happens after eating massive quantities of meat. Science doesn't have a definition for it yet, but it's a thing. Um. Uh, you're okay. But it is real. There's plenty of uh plenty of actual articles about it. It's the thermogenic effect of protein. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Protein is the hardest macronutrient yeah. to digest. Mm-hmm. So when you get a massive influx of it, it causes you to sweat like a hungry kid in a candy shop. Yep. And either that or I was it's thinking the, like it's, it's probably just shirt. your like your body naturally produces that because it's working to digest all that meat. And yeah. that's pretty difficult to digest for your body. But yeah, meat sweats so are good. Thing. Crazy, did not know that. Yeah. yeah, I definitely do McDonald's though, for sure. Dude, first of all, I just want to say, great tan. Great Thanks. tan. Yeah, you definitely I got some color. I didn't notice you got dark till I saw your thighs, and I was like, damn. Yeah. You got some good color on you, boy. Yeah. That's from just from place. this weekend, huh? Yep. Uh, from a bunch of stuff. Oh. Okay, David. I go to the beach once a week. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I look close enough. <laughs> Oh yeah. Got Not destroyed as close by as South some waves. Chelsea. If they were if I was a a uh block away from the beach, I feel like I'd be there every day. Yeah, I'd be there a lot. Did did Seth mention it uh, at all about him being there every day? No, he's him. he's at the station all the time. Oh yeah, that's right. Eating meat. Eating meat. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, so let's get into our segments. We got ninety nine cent advice this week. <clears throat> It's been the appropriate amount of time between segments to do another 99 cent advice. Do you remember the intro? Yeah, yeah. That's that's why I was smiling at you. One, two, three. You got 99 cents with your name on it. It's advice. Nice. And today, we're going to go with our 99 (laughs) cents. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. This is what it's called. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. So I think this is all about perspective. I think it's stupid. All right. That's my perspective. We're going we're gonna to dive into that first. Why? <laughs> uh, I just, I don't, it, nobody smiles when something terrible happens to them. Okay, like, see, I, I didn't read this as something terrible. Why would you cry if something terrible is over? What I'm going to is like breakups, like trauma responses, like things like uh, things that fuck with you, yeah. like fuck with your, with your head, you know? Like you can get, yeah, you get... You get punched in the arm, you have a bruise. All right, well, you learn not to do that again. But I think this is more of an emotional pain. And I think emotional pain is a lot harder to get over than just physical pain. So I'm looking at this somewhere in an emotional sense and a physical sense. Okay. Now, how do you see it? Um, how I, did you originally see it? I mean, I originally saw it as like an event that you've worked for is over. Like, I mean, we're talking about the Olympics. Like, these, so many people go to the Olympics, and for a lot of them, in their mind at the moment, that's the peak of their athleticism. Mm -hmm. It's this huge goal that they've been fighting for since they were young. So, you know, at the end of the day, I know I personally would be super emotional, you know? So like, don't cry because it's over smile because it happened, you know? So it's like, look back on the things. And instead of recognizing that, you know, the journey or the hike is now over because you've accomplished this, 
smile because of the dedication and the work and everything that's happened along the way to get you to that point. And that's why I said it's about a matter of perspective. I agree with that in that sense. Yeah. But I mean, I could make the same case for, you know, a breakup, like don't cry because it's over. Like as much as that sucks and you're going through the emotions and stuff, smile because you got the opportunity to love somebody and to be with somebody in such an intimate way. Are you really going to think about that right after a breakup though? Right after? Absolutely fucking not. Of course. You got to cry a bit. Well, I... Yes, but I'm not saying that like this doesn't eventually play a part into it. I I mean I get it in the long term, but I feel like this is like don't be, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Like they're just saying like okay, well you know what, keep moving forward, keep move, just move so on. in the in the it's, context you can't, you can't just you're move saying on. it sounds like advice given in the moment. Yeah, that's terrible While advice given in happening. the moment. This is this isn't good advice. I I think you're looking at this wrong. I think it's great advice, but I think context really matters here. I'm not saying that the second your heart gets broken, if anybody tells you this, the second you get broken, like very soon after you get broken up with, that person's an ass. But, you know, like years down the line, like if there's something going on, like, you know. Like you're getting broken up with and they're like, hey, you're not my person, but but don't cry. Because it's over. Smile. Smile because, because, because it happened. happened. <laughs> yes, in that context, it's terrible. But I mean, like, you know, outside of the relationship realm, I feel like it's, it is very good advice. Yeah, I because think that is good advice out of anything emotional. No. Like, but, out, no, of, out, of, out, out of loss, emotional. out of loss, or, um, like, any type of, like, legit trauma, that isn't okay to say. But if it's, like, an event or something. Why do you think it's wrong to say? Because I think people need to understand it's okay. It's just like passively, passive aggressive going over emotion. Like, don't worry about how you feel. Just keep going forward. You're going to be fine. But it's saying, don't feel your feelings. Just keep going. And that's not okay. And to me, that's what it's saying. Just keep going. Why are you crying? Keep moving forward. And that's, that's bullshit. Feel your feelings. Understand where they're coming from. I can, I can see that. I can see that. I, th- I think this one is very, like, in, in any... Situational. Yes. Like, in, with Dalton saying any loss or, you know, I just, in my head, I didn't go to immediately after a breakup or, you know, losing a loved one or something, you know, like, but you know, in the, I'm somebody that can get caught up in, you know, achieving a goal and then being sad because that goal that I had is now gone and I have to go find the next one. I Mm -hmm. like, you know, I can see myself, you know, being upset about that. And if somebody were to tell me this for me, it would be like that shift of being like, Oh, you know what? You're right. Like I did go through a shit ton of stuff to get here. Like I should be happy that, everything happened the way it did to get me here because this is exactly where I want to be. So let's say like you have a bunch of clients, right? And let's say like your client is like going, Matt, we're not going to renew this year. Uh It's just not going to work out. But I don't want you to cry because we're not renewing. Smile because we were partners. I mean, they're not, I don't think they're completely wrong. But like Dalton said, like I'm going to feel how I'm going to feel in the moment. But like fuck you, you know? Like, I don't, I don't think they're completely wrong. Like, yeah, like I did get to work with you and get yeah. to know you and get yeah. to help you in so many different aspects of your business. That's great. But like, it still fucking sucks that you're not going to renew with mm-hmm. me. Cause you know, if I'm supposed to smile because of all this time we had fucking smile and renew your, your policy with me. Well, so smile get, while you sign this. We paper. could smile more. <laughs> <laughs> we could keep smiling. Yeah. I don't know. I, now that Dalton made his case, I kind of don't think it's that great advice anymore. Yeah. So I don't know why I went to a, a darker place but i feel like that's just two different ways to look at it you it's know? it's two different like i think matthew's way makes sense like if you if you're uh an athlete at the olympics like yes you worked your ass off for this cry it's like something like, people say to like uh be happy you have of, like experience. school you know that's another time people will say that yeah 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 i wasn't i was just happy school was over i just smiled i was like fuck this place I just you, like you were losing a lot of friends uh, potentially i didn't you'd have never a lot of friends it was fine oh didn't lose a lot <laughs> you couldn't smile wait i smiled because i was done that one would be don't smile because it's over or cry because it happened yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's way better uh i'm gonna go with like i i don't do so what's what what is the best because you guys are saying situational what's the best uh situation to be giving this advice to someone a huge life-changing type of like um like athletic event or even achieved, like a big achievement yeah like if you're able to sell your company for like a shit ton of money or yeah something. yeah something like that like a big like a if 
financial achievements or yeah. athletic achievements. The worst time is like a breakup. Like somebody gets broken up with and they come to you for... Or just losing anybody in general or just, you know, losing. Literally almost any other time that you'd be emotional about a situation. Yeah. Anytime you should be expressing those emotions. Exactly. Is not when you should be telling Absolutely someone to not. bottle I, this, them up. This is like one cent advice. Yeah, this, this is, is so it's just easier to just never give this advice ever. I think there's a thousand other ways to more respectfully say this. Yeah, there's yeah, fuck this advice. Where it doesn't need to be in the lexicon, even for the people who, like you said, like at the end of an athletic competition, yeah, I, or yeah. it's like it doesn't, it causes much more harm to the bad situations than it does reassurance. Like, to the just, good like even if your intent is good, like if there's a pie chart there's like a tiny sliver that they're going to take it the proper way. So I just think that it's just better to just not use it. Oh my God. We got to read these. I'm excited wow. for the boys. All right. I'm oh, sorry. Banished. Banished. Done. One cent advice. No one is ever allowed to say this phrase again. Yeah. Fuck you. D C B I O S B I H. Hey, what's that one? That's like raffle. It's like rolling on the floor, laughing so hard. My sombrero fell off and I dropped my taco. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. It's like all the letters. <laughs> Oh, uh, man, I love Let that shit. I'm sure it'll come up right now. All right, guys, for our next segment, we're jumping into One, two, three. The, the boys' room. And this is a segment where we talk about anything where we, in the room. Where we give our unsolicited advice to people we've never met and who don't listen to this podcast. Here in a is. place called R- the boys' room. R-O-T-F-L-S-H-M-S-F-O-A-I-D-M-T. Thank you, David. Rolling on the floor laughing so hard my sombrero fell off and I dropped my taco. Oh, my gosh. You so really... anytime something really gets you going, like anytime I tell you guys a joke, you can just use that. <laughs> I, I Absolutely not. <laughs> right. We're trying to roll along here. <laughs> You're holding us <laughs> We're back. in the boys' room. <laughs> <laughs> this never happens. It's usually us. It's usually our fault. We got our boys here. Do you guys see there's a, there's a podcast that's doing the same exact thing as this, but the whole podcast is them just reading relationship advice? Oh, really? Oh, man. Yeah. I could not do that. It's called... Uh, we're not going to... We're not going to... Why them. not? Oh, let's shout to them. All right, fine. Sh- it's called Two Hot Takes. Two Hot Takes. Because it's two girls, and they might be cuter than you, and people might leave us to go watch them. Shouty Tauty uh, to Two Hot Takes, and if they're better than us, well, good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Two hot takes. Oh Two God. hot takes. Is that what it's called? Yeah. What do Two you hot want? takes. What Nothing. You want? Doesn't matter. Let's get into this, boys. I'm ready to dive into this. I don't. I want to be laugh. My husband almost caused me to lose my finger, but <laughs> says I'm overreacting. Cheese. Will you give us the details, man? So me, 27, female, and my husband have been 34. I've been married for two months. He's sweet and funny and can pull some nasty pranks sometimes, but nothing too serious. Some may say we I love how you're names. reading this. My I main issue with this. him is that he likes to grab my butt and or uh. finger me all the time. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Those are two very different things. Oh, like, like oh grab, no. Grab, grab a ass. cheek and then just like straight up inside. That's a finger. <laughs> I, I don't mind him being playful sometimes, but he does it so often that it irritates me. And uh, he'll do it when I'm working or cooking or even around guests. Uh, but he, uh, which is embarrassing, but he says that no one sees anything, but the looks on their faces say otherwise. <laughs> so he recently started coming into this kitchen when I'm cutting vegetables or dealing with a hot pan and tries to finger me, which causes me to jump because he'd catch me off guard. Whenever I'm in the kitchen, he'd walk in quietly and try to finger me out of nowhere, <laughs> causing me to drop goods got the or monster. plates or get hurt by the hot pan. I'll scream and tell him to stop it several times, but he just laugh and start sweet talking me and kissing me, trying to get me to calm down. Honest, honestly, this sounds familiar to something that I was just dealing with. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds familiar. Oh, to my yeah, 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 yeah. Last night he was out with friends while I was preparing dinner. I thought he was still out, but he sneaked into the kitchen when I was cutting tomatoes. And next thing I knew, he came from behind and tried to finger me, which caused me to almost cut my finger because I was holding a knife in my other hand. I got injured, but it was a minor cut. I started crying because I was panicked. He sat me down and checked my finger, but I yelled at him to stay away and berated him uh, for doing this. He looked upset and said I was overreacting because that wasn't his intention. Uh, That's never how you respond. But I already told him to stop. He argued that I was being too hard on him and treating him as if he was meaning to cause harm when he's just trying to get me to have fun. So we ended up having a fight about it, and he refused to sit down for dinner with me again, saying I overreacted and shouldn't have yelled at him like that. (laughs) 
I felt terrible because <laughs> of it. I felt terrible because of it, but more because he sees no big deal with almost causing me to cut my finger off with what he did. It's like a little boy when you take his toy. So, okay, well, I, we need a, uh when he when she says finger me, I think she means like just like not actually attempt she, no, to like no she it's it's, it's like, a, a, he it's just like a finger pokes butt. in the butt yeah yeah, yeah. finger butt finger butt, butt poke yeah butt poke oh we all do butt he's pokes. not yeah he's yeah. not reaching into her pants and yeah trying to like start getting it on yeah just, yeah yeah okay it's so like she, grab the butt um, like yeah a stab it took me like halfway through this to realize that's what that's what was going on here yeah um, I, she could chose a way better word dude Dalton I feel like you've had me you know attack your butt quite a bit growing up so I feel like you're the best person to to start this yeah just really get good at catching their hands um. You can do that. You can do anything. Yeah. Um, but no, I think this situation, um, I get it. Like, you have your little playful things. Um, but I think maybe he just, that's just like his go to thing to get her attention. Maybe she doesn't give him enough attention or something, or he feels like he's deprived of it. But I feel like there's, 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 uh, situational awareness that needs oh, to be had. Completely. You know, where Boundaries maybe, too. you know, anything hot, sharp. If those things are around, if like, I'm in the kitchen, don't, don't do it. Do it, you yeah. know. Yeah. No, no, like if it's it's one thing where like if you're cooking like with the pan and you walk by like a little like spank. Yeah. Like that's fine, you know. But digging your finger in their asshole isn't the answer, especially when they're holding a sharp knife. Yeah. Bad call, bro. Yeah, I also think that he just was so butthurt that she was uh, mad at him for literally her cutting herself because of him. He was mad at her for that situation, which I granted, like, he probably didn't mean anything by it. I'm sure he didn't. Yeah. But and I also am curious to see, like, line. how deep that cut is. Not that that makes that big of a difference, but um, this is how it's supposed to be. Okay, back the fuck up a little bit. He's telling me this is where it should be. Okay, are you serious? Because it's fucking destroying my ears. Destroyer. Um, Yeah, no, I just, I'm kind of curious to see, like, how deep the cut is. Because granted, like, she shouldn't have gotten cut, but, like. I if her finger is like hanging off or you see bone, I would she definitely. She said it was minor it. cut, so I'm sure it was deep, like surface it's, level. It's I'm minor sure it bruising. Like, I'm sure it hurt. No, yeah, any cut hurts. So I don't know. I I feel like the guy they just he just needs to stop poking her butt. I just think he could have responded better instead of being like, oh, a thousand percent. Re- you, uh, don't ever. You're over. Don't fucking say that. Do you think dude. he got her a bandaid? No, he was too mad that she was yelling at him. That's dumb. See, the first thing I would have done is grab the ice and a Band-Aid. That's petty little bullshit that you don't she need, She said man. that he that's tried dumb. to check it, and then she was like, no, get away. You don't come near me because you did this. But also, I feel like he got embarrassed, which yes. I, yeah, w- no. I would be embarrassed if I got yeah. like – because then I would be like, that is very dumb. Why would I do that when she has a knife yeah. in her hands? And it's, it's just something that I wouldn't think yeah. of in the moment. But yeah, then he, he wasn't expecting But it. then instead of like taking a step back – he oh yeah, like, he I'm embarrassed. That. I'm doubling down. Yeah. On, this should not be my fault. Yeah, no, no, no. It's definitely his fault. That's just a shitty situation. It's shitty time. Just do all of this not in the kitchen. So wait, what does uh, what should she do? Because he's refusing to apologize. Communicate boundaries. Don't put your finger in my butt in the kitchen. Just smack it. Don't. Didn't put seem it in like there. to be like it was doing anything don't, before. Don't put anything in there. Well, maybe since she had that reaction, he might understand that it's different this time. Lessons not learned in blood are easily forgotten. Um, uh, what? It was a 99 cent <laughs> advice, Dalton. We did it a couple weeks ago. Oh, right on. All right. Here's the next one. My twin sister yelled at me for posting photos of my ultrasound. So apparently someone we know congratulated her on being pregnant, which she is not. But I am. It was a stupid mistake and she was incredibly offended by it. <laughs> Apparently her being called pregnant was a horrible a horrible remark or whatever and she blames me for it even though I did nothing wrong. She claims that I am a narcissist and can't stop posting photos of myself for a single day and she said it's not the biggest deal, deal in the world that I'm pregnant or engaged and to stop talking about it nonstop. I'm gonna She's obviously pretty jealous in my view and taking her anger out on me for no reason. This I don't girl's think a narcissist. I sh- Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't think I should have to fight with her about photos online. What should I do now? I'm gonna go on a limb here. Say that her sister is not pregnant or engaged. Or engaged. Well, she's not pregnant for sure. Thousand percent. Um I won like I don't know. I feel like she She's a narcissist. Probably like right? she's upset that the attention isn't on her. Yeah, maybe. But and the attention was on her. But like you hear her argument is like 
she can't you can't stop posting photos of yourself for a day and acts like it's not the biggest thing in the world that she's pregnant or engaged like what the fuck yeah let her I, live her life I, you don't have to look at her posts dumbass i feel like that's jealousy that's especially that jealousy. last part where it's like it's, she's it's she, not a big deal you're pregnant or engaged and then she goes she's obviously pretty jealous <laughs> in my view no what the fuck <laughs> yeah yeah i don't um that's a crazy sister yeah. Well, what would you guys do? Let's say I tell her to let's fuck say off. you get engaged, and then someone's like, Matt, congrats, you got engaged. I would laugh at him and be like, oh, you got engaged? <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, there wouldn't be a situation because there's no situation to be had. I know, but then Matt's like, Dalton, stop telling people you're fucking engaged, dude. It's not a big deal. No, but like that's dumb because that's we're not stupid enough to react like that. But what if he did? But it wouldn't happen. But what if he did? What would I you wouldn't do? tolerate it. What would you do? Tell him to fuck off. It's my life, not yours. It's very simple. If people can understand those things, they can get through life very happily. But they choose, they don't, they choose to be mad about somebody posting fucking pictures. If you don't like them posting pictures, don't look at it. It's very simple. Don't fucking look. Don't look. Don't be an idiot. And this chick is being an idiot. But maybe she wasn't looking and someone still came up to her and was like, congrats. Well, you're a twin sister. What the fuck but, do you okay, expect? Okay, but I would be slightly offended if like I was like slightly overweight and self-conscious about it. And I mean, oh, it could you're, have been, you're it, obviously pregnant. It could have been like it was the first ultrasound. If it's the first pregnancy, sometimes uh, like women don't show until yeah. like the third I, trimester. I, it, I'm just going to go on a limb. I don't know either, either of these people, obviously, but I just feel like she's jealous that she's not the one that's pregnant or engaged you know what i mean yeah. i feel like that's where it stems from yeah and if this was a situation with dalton and i and one of us was upset either of us would quickly call out like are you or do you feel like less than because you're not engaged or you're not this like there's deeper emotions here at play i'd rather talk about that than sit here and scream at each other for something something we fucking posted online and something that somebody from the kindness of their heart actually wanted to like congratulate you on mm-hmm. they were just trying to be kind and it was just yeah. at the wrong person you yeah know? and that shit happens man all right okay then all right on to the next one on to the next one forward forward so this is a good one this is a good one. Oh, what the <laughs> hell why didn't it show up oh my god did you get taken down no i didn't uh you don't have it i didn't up. put the right link um, it's okay. Just read it. We don't need to see it. I don't have oh, here. It ah, is. Okay. I see. All right. So my boyfriend is a bit feminine. He's into like skirts and crop tops and shit. And we've been dating like a week. Oh yeah. And he got my name, full name, which is a pretty unique one, tattooed across <laughs> his lower so stomach. <laughs> Not lower stomach. Where it's like right above the line of most pants nice. on his stomach. Nice. Right on. What now? I kind of flipped out because we've been dating for a literally week. a week. Yeah. <laughs> but, but but now I feel guilty for freaking out. Oh. Even no. though it's weird and why and way too soon for shit like that. And he's blaming me for it because I said I was serious about us. And it's been a week, bro. <laughs> and you can't you can be serious without doing batshit insane shit though. But he doesn't want to hear that dirt. Uh, so this is kind of a mess. And I don't know if this is a deal breaker or not uh, or what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I came off as too rude. But I'd really like some advice because this is freaky deaky shit. This is a freaky deaky shit. I feel and like. Then, and then it ends with <laughs> thanks. I feel like. The... She's 18. No, the boyfriend's. <laughs> oh, no. The boyfriend is 18. And then the poster is 24. And they're both guys. I feel like the bigger issue here is that oh my God, he I doesn't want to hear the batshit crazy stuff, which he's referring to as your feelings about this situation. That's the bigger issue. I think I think the the 18-year-old is just trying to show his commitment, and that's in his way. He's interpreting that as like, oh, if you're serious, this is how I'm going to show you that I'm serious. Yeah. Like he's he's a shower, not like a he can't verbalize it. Yeah, like I feel like it's an action that he's. That makes sense. You know, so that's probably why he's taking it. I believe I believe he had the best intentions. Yes, but right, you know, there's other things that are less permanent that you can do. You could write a simple letter, or you know, just give him give him like a strawberry or something, maybe a cake. Also, this 24 year old is has a very young way of typing and speaking. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. But yeah, he's 20. The other, th- uh, the other thing is that he's 24 and the kid's 18. That's not that bad. 
Yeah, but I think Tom, about that's think you of, dating an eighteen year old. Think about again. That's not the. I don't see a situation where but that, no, I mean, but, that would no, happen. But no, it's not a big no, deal. No, but just think about like the mentality you had when you were eighteen versus now. You're in two very different places, which probably explains why the eighteen year old is so desperate. You know what I mean? Like Don, that's you dating someone that's a little bit older than Jared. Oh, that's weird. See, now you said it like you know what I mean. Like, like I feel like the eighteen year old is just like maybe this is like his first relationship, and he's like head over heels and he doesn't know how to express it so that's just what he decided to do Mm -hmm. um but i feel like you know there's just a huge mental or mentality gap maturity gap so you don't think anyone's to blame no i don't think anyone's to blame i think the situation's just it needs to be talked about and i think they're going to learn about a lot about communication the next week the second week of their relationship. <laughs> hey, it's twice as long as they've been together. Dude, there that's you know? crazy. You called it too. You're like, they've been together a week. Yeah. <laughs> that's you said that before we read it? Yeah, Matt did. I, I would have never I would have never guessed. I would I would say maybe three months. I feel like then it'd be like kind of understandable, but No. But that also begs the question, did they know each other before that one week? Uh, possibly. Or was that like their first date and then they, I mean, we love each other. I assume now it's like hard for me to gauge because I have my idea of how like a relationship goes, but a lot of the time I feel like now it's like you have the first date and then you're seeing each other every day after that. Yeah, but so. we're also we're we're all of our friends are older, so I feel like we're at an age now where it's more intentional, you know, as opposed to, to be like, seeing someone every single day. Yeah, to date somebody, you know. I've just never. I guess I I haven't really seen like if you're dating someone, then you're not seeing them every single day. But that's just been my hmm. look on. Yeah, it. but also too when you know you were mainly in college when you were dating people, so you couldn't see them every single day unless you went to college with them. Uh. But even then, you have school schedules for you, theater schedules, you know, so many different things to balance. As opposed to now, it's just work, maybe gym or beach for you, and then home. Just a good old surfer. Could all no, surf. No, 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 no. Body surfer. surfer. Except not even that. I just let the waves pick me up and <laughs> smash me into the ground. That's the best feeling. No, it's not. It hurts. Dude, I've scorpioned so many times. Mm-hmm. Dude. Yep. Shit hurts. No. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. cool. Good. Let's see Dr. Good, Tattoo off. Or good whatever take on name this. Is. Fuck all right. Yeah, man. Here's Fuck our yeah. last one. Here's our last one. My girlfriend's brother bought her a vibrator. Nice. Okay. So her family seems to have very little boundaries when it comes to sexual stuff. Why do you need boundaries? Uh, so my girlfriend has found this creepy, as have I. The girls, so my girlfriend and her brother's fiance, uh, will sometimes gossip about sex, which is understandable. And, you know, they want to hear the scoop and they are girlfriends, so whatever. I suppose I also talk to my friends about sex. Suppose. The problem. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> The problem is her brother. He is a little creepy. No offense, but think of the type of person you'd see carrying a sword while wearing a trench coat and combat boots. Ah. Now, to be fair, he is engaged. This is me talking right now. But he is engaged. He's the kind of person you can smell entering the room before you see them. Wow. He lived in a nest of garbage before his fiance forced him to clean his room. So he's not necessarily a lady killer. He is an overweight fiance who also smells and isn't necessarily a looker and either. All right. Well, <laughs> this is the way we decided to go. All right, dude. Uh, today, I found out the surprise he's had for us is a Hitachi wand for oh, my girlfriend. Oh, nice. Those are great. Ew. Yeah? Those are really fucking good wands. They're expensive. How expensive are they? Around like 110 Oh, dang. But it depends. If they're, going, if they're going wireless, it'll be around 110 120 If they're going... Is it going with a wire? It's about 70 bucks. If you're new here, the reason he knows this is Dalton used to work at a sex shop, so he sold a lot of these. Hi, I'm Dalton. This is also why I wanted to bring, bring this, this up. up. This is great. I'm visibly grossed out and just leave to go to the car. I calmly tell her later that I think the toy is inappropriate. I can't force you not to use it, but I'd rather you didn't. Yeah. And I explain that the toy is not the issue, but the fact that it came from her brother. <laughs> now, she insists the brother is just... Being nice. And I said, fine, I will buy you a similar toy to use. (laughs) And she said, no, he already bought me this one. Now, she caved in, but she's making me feel like an asshole in the process. Ah, damn. So, in my opinion, this is getting the brother off in some way. 
His fiance is fat and smelly. Mine is petite and smells good. <laughs> what is it with the smell? Is this fucking what's his name? Jo- Joey Fragrance, Johnny Fragrance, Jeremy Fragrance. Jeremy Fragrance. Power. <laughs> I want to kiss a woman right now. God. Stepsister porn is also extremely popular right now, and mm-hmm. this taboo topic is almost definitely playing into some sort of fetish. I don't know. Maybe the internet has made me bitter. Nobody, <laughs> I don't think so, bro. Nobody does that to be nice. I have been very nice to his fiance for years without buying her any sex toys. This is gross. <sighs> I don't even want to explain why I think it's gross because I know in her eyes I'd be calling her brother a pervert. What do I do? Okay, you go because I feel like mine is very one sided because I've given you toys before, and I've given I've given friends toys like girlfriends friends girlfriends toys. Um. Okay. But I think the only reason is because I worked at a shop he hasn't. Yeah. Maybe that's where it's like weird. Yeah. So um, I don't know. I don't think Dalton and I have very many sexual boundaries with one another. Like I we. I don't know. But you are both men. Yes, I I think that has a lot to play in it. And I would just like to say the, uh, I don't know, I feel like all the smelling is a big issue for him. And I don't think it adds anything to this other than nothing else. Context. There is an edit that says, looks like this was in fact creepy, yet I'm an asshole and I was way too rough on their appearance. I have some self-reflection to do. I mean, I understand why he added it or they added it, but I don't know if. Did it like, give context? Yes. Yes. Was, was it, it necessary? No. no. <laughs> um, I I do think that there's so the fact that sister doesn't think that it's weird, like maybe she does that, think it's weird. She does. Yeah. So why is she gonna? Keep then why is she gonna it? keep it? Because that her would brother be, got it for her. No, that'd be the only thing. Because like if she didn't think it was weird, then maybe that's just the relationship that they have where there's been no boundaries set, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which he he kind of touched on in the in the first part. Oh, you're right. She just his his the girlfriend sister has just always found it creepy that the whole family has little sexual boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. So, but the fact that it makes the significant other uncomfortable when it's something like that, that should be an easy conversation for her to have with her brother. Like, Hey, I, I personally don't think this is appropriate. I don't want this. Take it back and give me the money. I'll go get something myself, whatever. But I think that that's where the, the problem is, you know, I don't necessarily, like, I don't know, like, uh, I, don't I know. definitely think that there's it's weird, and I understand where he's coming from by thinking that there's more intentions behind it. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I can understand that. Um, I just, yeah, yeah, just a just a conversation between the sister and the brother, being like, hey, like you gotta understand, like there's there's it's time. It this is where you've realized it's time for boundaries. This is the moment right here. This is where you can talk about it and it be okay. You yeah. know. And, but and, you can't do this before or after. I feel like it and, has to go myself. And, and maybe they've had a relationship coming up then where they both talk about different sexual experiences that they've had separately. Maybe he just thinks it's okay because they you know talked what I mean? about it before. So yeah. Like, oh, we can obviously buy it for you. Yeah. It's it's a very nice gift to give, you know? It's yeah. like, I don't know. Is there anything that he could have gotten her that would have been appropriate in the same realm? You know, is it not okay for him to get like, her vibrators, but if he gets her a giant pack of condoms for the two of them, uh, is that fine? I I just personally would stay away from the whole that air. There's yeah, so many just, other things to that's buy such an intimate, somebody yeah, in such the world. An intimate part of a relationship that doesn't need to be explored by anybody except the ones involved. Like maybe a gift card. Yeah, a gift card. I, I you know I sold so many gift cards. And they did it for family all the time. It makes sense. Gift but cards getting, are okay. But getting something specific, something specific is a little too much. Yeah. Yeah. They would always go, no, I'm just getting the gift card for my friends. They really like the clothes here. No one fucking likes the clothes here. You're not here for the clothes. We know what you're here for. <laughs> yes. I, I, I definitely think that there a boundary needs to be set regardless of past relationships. It's starting to you're there. Whatever boundaries weren't there before, there needs to be some now. They're at an age for that. And then two, I think the fact that it's affecting their relationship, yeah, like that that's an issue. Just a conversation needs to be had. And I feel like it's an easy, easy to solve situation. I don't think um, – well, he was just so aggressive with the way he described it. Yeah. I mean, all he had to say was the guy with a trench coat and a sword, and I was already hey, was like, it. I got I, it. I knew exactly. I, I completely understood. Yep. I didn't even know the smell or well, their he size. Also, he also like took down – the brother's fiance and 
who yeah. just who's just yeah. an innocent bystander. Uh-huh. I, I think unnecessary. I think he just dude. wanted to gossip with the sister about sex. He probably just wants to feel like he's not a bad guy for talking about it. Yeah. And so maybe that's why he overexpressed what he, where he was coming from. But I feel like with this or topic, he's also you don't, offended. Yeah, he could just say like these people don't take care of themselves. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I was just saying, I mean, I feel like with this topic, you don't need to really. Say Either way, it's gonna be weird. Kind of strange on its <laughs> own. I, like, yeah. I, like, I feel like the title would be, probably just be like, "Title, what do you think?" Just left it at that, and it would be having the same exact conversation. I've sold Matt a massive dildo. It wasn't. He weird. has. He has 15 inches. The Great American Challenge. Big boy. Big purple down. Was that a housewarming gift? No, it was a white elephant gift. Uh, oh, I thought about a really cool dong idea. Yeah. Donkey Kong. And it's it's a it's an ape. It's Donkey penis. Kong's dick. Nice. Donkey Kong. It has a little tie on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my god. I could probably I could probably make that happen. You uh-huh. could. You How could. big would you think it should be? Donkey Donk. The Donkey Donk Donkey Kong. The Donkey dong. Kong? Donk. Like would dong. it be Donkey Dong? Donkey Kong. No, because that then then you I don't Kong think of Donkey still. Kong. Oh, it's just a Kong is what makes it. Uh, makes it Donkey Kong. I feel so like you get sued dong, by Nintendo so dong, fast. Donkey Kong. Yeah. Donkey Kong. Yeah. I feel like you get sued by Nintendo so fast. Not if I do it off of uh, uh I was gonna say GitHub, <laughs> not that um. Etsy. Etsy. What if you just called it the DK? But then it was like it's like the DK in the logo, but then there's two asterisks in the middle. Possible. possible. That way you know it says dick, but it also says DK, like Donkey Kong. This is good. great. This is we're, great. We're going to brainstorm Let's work this. on this. Let's but uh, until then, Dalton, what are you scoring up with this week, man? Uh, I have absolutely nothing to score up with this week. Nice. I'm I'm living my life, and I'm just enjoying what's coming my way and what's leaving. It's it's all good. There's nothing wrong this week. No square no. ups. No square ups. Wow, Matt. What about you? What am I scoring up with? Um... It can also be like a private square up. It sounds like you have something you square up with, but it's just like. Do you have a private square up, Matt? Do you have a problem with the bathroom? You're telling me about it over break. Oh, that mm. square up. Yeah. Got a private square up, you guys. David, what is your private <laughs> What is your private square up? What's my private square up? Yeah. My Tell private it to the world. square up. Yeah. Is, um, Make your private square up not private. Yeah. <laughs> is. Just said it, it takes so long to drive everywhere. Yeah. Dude, Cal- traffic's no, been bad no, recently. I got it. It's what? with myself, but kind of. But <laughs> I I answer. went camping and then we did the campfire on the second on the second, like the first full day. Right on. And I'm the only one that didn't bring a bag to put all my clothes into. Like my oh, dirty so you clothes smelled into it. like so then I put my clothes back into my, my duffel. Oh, and David. then all of my clothes smell like, smell like camp shit. Smoke, yeah. Campfire smell. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that smells so freaking. It it's sticks so to everything. Yeah. yeah. It's like cigars. Like, you'll smell like a cigar. Like, that's why when I smoke a cigar, like, when, when I'm done with the night, I don't just go to sleep because mm-hmm. I know the smell is going to be on my bed. So I'd like put all my clothes away and then I just go shower because I don't want to have that smell. Matt, what'd you, what's your woe dude? My your woe dude of the week. My woe dude of the week. My woe dude of the week is that my dad actually got his truck back. It made me go, whoa, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's, that's a double woe I did, dude I did for not, me. like, I, I was I, convinced he wasn't getting it till next year. I was not expecting it at Why? all. Why? Because he's almost gotten it back, like. A thousand of times. Yeah. And then every, every weekend. Every single time something else happens. So yeah. finally, like, he didn't, this is the only time he hasn't told me that he thought he was going to get it. Yeah. He just That's showed true. up. He just, he, he just sent me a picture sent of the a truck. Picture. It was great. So, and then we're driving. So he left his car. He left his work car at the shop, drove the new truck, his, his Ford, drove that home. And then he texted us like, hey, I need someone to take me back to get my car and then drive that back while I drive my truck. So I went with him. So we're driving back. And all of a sudden, I see him just randomly pull over and pop the hood of the truck in a mall. This fucking guy did it again. He he blew something, but I guess they put a bunch of new like fumes or or something like a bunch of new fluids in the engine, and so it's releasing these fumes. My dad thought something was wrong, but oh, it okay. been all right. Yeah, it's it's a brand new, yeah. you know, rebuilt engine. Uh, I'm gonna go right back to you. What's your uh, what's your woe, dude? Cheese. Uh, my woe, dude, is the fact that there's just private citizens that just went into space. 
Yeah, that's didn't pretty need cool. To do like these crazy things, right? Yeah, that's, just, that's so dope. You just, you just went there. That's wild. For like yeah, twenty bucks. With it. Yeah, yeah. For like twenty, twenty five, twenty bucks plus like twenty million. What's the first thing you <laughs> would say in space if you like you could have one sentence that everyone would know? What would you say? I'd say four twenty blazers. <laughs> <laughs> Babe Nation. <laughs> No, I go. I know. I pull out my phone and go, "World Star." <laughs> Stupid. Oh my what about you, Don? What's your what dude? Uh, no, he double what dude it up. Oh yeah, what dude with you? We both what dude. Oh, that's right. We what got you stoked? What got me stoked this week? Um, I'm just this uh, meditation is really fun. So I'm enjoying kind of the insight and it's kind of helping me plan out my days and shit. It's it's just really nice to just be able to have like my self thought. Just kind of figure shit out. Dope. So I'm enjoying it. What got you stoked this week, Matt? The fact that I'm gonna go see Peter and Steven this weekend gets nice. me pretty fucking stoked. I haven't That's seen awesome. their house yet. I'm very excited for them. When was so. the last time you saw them? Uh the the weekend after my birthday. I had just we went to Joshua Tree and I had just hurt my knee. That's not too 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 long ago. No, but the fact that they have a house, like yeah, that's yeah. gonna be super that's cool. That's awesome. That's yeah. super cool. Yeah. Ray Cheese, what got you stoked? Got me stoked was going camping. Oh, Got yeah. to see yeah, Lake man. Tahoe, another national forest. Good job. Good for you. Uh, oh, is that a national forest? It's a national forest, but it's not a national park. Ah, oh, okay. That's what I was thinking. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah, and a lot of it was on fire, so it was pretty wild that we did not get caught in that. Nice. Good. We drove by past it. Like, the sky turned orange for a while. On, oh, wow. On our drives. But, that's wild. Did John go on a rant about global warming? And, yes. Yeah. That yeah. was when we were staring at the stars. You could almost time it sometimes. That yeah. was when we were staring at the stars. No. Crazy. That's cool. Good for you, man. All right. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast and making it this far. Go ahead and leave us a five-star rating and a review wherever you are listening to this. And if you're here on YouTube, thank you for watching us. Uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, the bell notification icon in the corner, so you know whenever we upload our videos. And everybody stay safe, stay healthy. Until next week, I'm Drum. And I'm Drummer. We'll see you guys then. Bye. Bye.